T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Falcon, go CRS. Vehicles pushing down right, and we have liftoff. NASA's SpaceX 31st Commercial Resupply Mission is on its way to the International Space Station, carrying science, supplies, and the spirit of exploration. Now, during ascent, we will tilt or gimbal the engines, guiding the rocket into what we call a gravity turn. Now, during this turn, the vehicle is flying both up and horizontally away from the launch pad. The rocket typically, Power telemetry nominal. typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order Falcon to 9 is supersonic. avoid getting pulled back down to Earth. You just heard that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic. And shortly, we'll be throttling the engines back in preparation for max Q. Max Q. There's that call for Max Q. That's the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see during ascent. And coming up shortly, we will have a few events in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, second stage engine, two engine chill, second engine startup one, and the boost back burn of the first stage. You just heard the call out for the second stage engine chill, starting in preparation for that engine startup. We are just about 30 seconds away from main engine cutoff, where the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Shortly after that, the stage one and two will separate from one another, and the MVAC engine on the second stage will start. Second engine start one is when we ignite that single Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. Shortly after that, the boost back burn will start on the first stage. There's main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage separation. Stage two start up. Stage one boost back start up. And there you can see a beautiful view of the concurrent Second stage engine start along with the start of that first stage boost back burn. And really cool views from the second stage the engine there and the first stage. Now, if you're just joining us, the first stage on your left is in the middle of its boost back burn, which is the first of three burns designed to take the first stage back down to Earth to our landing zone one. And the second stage is in its burn, carrying Dragon and the CRS-31 mission towards its intended orbit. Stage one, boost back shutdown. There is the end of that boost back burn. Again, that was the first of three planned burns of the first stage. And in about three minutes, there will be two additional burns, the entry burn and the landing burn of that first stage to bring it back down to land at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. We are at T plus three minutes and 55 seconds here in today's mission. CRS-31 is SpaceX's 105th launch this year, and we are coming up on the entry burn and then second engine cutoff of the second stage. Now the entry burn is slated for a little over two minutes from now at the T plus six and a half minute mark. And you should see that on your screen um, is when the first stage performs it. And for that entry burn, we relight three of the nine and one Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. You heard that call out. Vehicles are all on a nominal trajectory. And again, for that entry burn, we will relight three of the nine M1D engines starting with the center E9 engines, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines, which are on either side of it. 
and the sperm will slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the reason we need to perform this entry burn is we need to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. You can follow along on the bottom left and right hand of your screen for the speed and altitude for the first and second stages, respectively. And the second stage, which you can see on your screen right now, is on its first burn. And this is what will be targeting the Dragon orbit from whence, after Dragon's operation, Dragon will continue the rest of its journey to the International Space Station using its own onboard Draco's thrusters. We are just about 30 seconds from the start of the first stage entry burn. This will be about a 20 second burn that slows that first stage down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Nominal trajectory. We are also currently in the middle of the second stage burn. We have about two minutes left in this burn. Stage one entry burn. There is the start of the stage one entry burn. And this is a three engine burn of the first stage, slowing the first stage down as it comes back home. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one FTS is saved. And there is that call out for a good entry burn and the flight termination system being saved. Really cool views of the nighttime on the Cape Canaveral coast. At the first stage that's supporting today's mission will perform, has performed this entry burn for the fifth time. And Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket. And this is important because it allows us to reuse the most expensive parts of the rocket, which drives down the access to space. We should see that landing burn starting in just a few moments. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of the stage one landing burn. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. What a, what a beautiful view stage of two that. Thermal guidance. First stage landing, and with that, that landing marks SpaceX's 360-second recovery of an orbital-class rocket, including the first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Heavy. And we are coming up on second engine cutoff, or second engine cutoff one here uh, on the second stage in just a few moments. Stage two shutdown. There is that call out for Seco one. You can see that MVAC engine slowly cooling off. Nominal orb insertion. There is that confirmation of a good orbit. Looks like we are on track for dragon separation in just a few minutes here at the T plus nine minute and 25. Stage two FTS is saved. Second mark. See that MVAC engine continuing to cool down. And we are waiting for Dragon separation here in just a few moments. Dragon separation confirmed. There is confirmation of Dragon separation. You could just see it floating away there.
Now, if you're just joining us, we did have a successful launch from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center. And everything has uh, proceeded Nominally, so far, we had stage separation occurred at about two and a half minutes into flight, and that was followed by a successful landing of Falcon 9's first stage on landing zone one. And that marked the fifth landing for this particular booster. And for those of you following along, this Dragon spacecraft previously supported four commercial resupply missions for NASA, including CRS-21, 23, 25, and 28.